Hi, my name is Jonathan. I've been coding in Backbone for over two years now. I'm an air pair expert, and today I'm going to take you through a very basic introduction to Backbone.js, why you'd want to use something like Backbone.js, what are the advantages of using Backbone.js, and how does Backbone.js basically compare to writing a web app in pure JavaScript or even using jQuery to update a web page in real time. So, Overall, when I think of writing apps in pure JavaScript or writing apps with an MVC, a front-end MVC framework like Backbone.js or Angular or Ember, um, there's two very basic different mindsets. And that is, when you're writing pure JavaScript apps, you're sort of pushing changes into the, job, into the DOM. Uh, but when you're writing um, front-end MVC frameworks, um, and the big difference is, in my mind, this, this idea of function-based versus uh, event-based, uh, really your changes are getting pulled into the DOM as they occur. Uh, so let's explain the difference. Function-based, think of having a link on your page, someone clicks a button and that fires off your JavaScript to call a specific um, you know, JavaScript function on the page that probably most likely will call $Ajax which will get some changes from the server and in the callback you'll be able to like look at each property. At that point um, <clears throat> you're going to use jQuery functions, things like HTML, uh, text, to basically push each piece into like a very specific label or a text box one at a time. Uh, and an important thing to, to think about, I mean you can use scoping in, in jQuery, but normally you're just going to use a jQuery selector like the hash or the dot for a class and jQuery is going to look at your whole DOM. It's going to traverse your whole DOM to find a very specific element and, and update that change. Um, which kind of is bad for browser performance, but more importantly uh, your code can really affect anywhere uh, in, in the whole web page. And that doesn't necessarily lead to very manageable or maintainable code. So usually what happens with a small app, it's okay. But with big apps, if you're going to build something kind of impressive and, and is up to today's standards in, in dynamic JavaScript client-side UI, uh, a big jQuery app is going to get very spaghetti-like. And there's going to be no separation of concerns. Um, so, so why use a framework like Backbone? Well, Backbone gives us a couple of, of ideas or, or conventions like models, collections, and views, which help you to organize your code. And that obviously leads to it being much more maintainable. So, so what do we mean by event-based versus function-based? Well, function-based, as I described, you might click a button and that will fire off a function. With event-based, we have in Backbone these very intelligent objects called models. And models not only store and keep track of the data um, that your page is representing, but when changes are made to the model, uh, it fires off events. And these events can be listened to uh, by our Backbone views or, or any other object we decide to create. But normally in Backbone, it's the views that are listening to, to changes in our data. And as these changes occur, the view knows asynchronously and instantaneously, oh, a change was made in my model, now I need to update myself and reflect the exact state that my model is holding. So in a sense, rather than uh, pushing inside of a function your updates one at a time into the DOM, uh, these events are listening to, and as those changes made in the data, they're pulling those changes and kind of cascading them uh, into not really the DOM, but views are scoped to particular elements on the page. Um, so it might be like a tiny island of content, or your sidebar, or just your menu system up the top. And this not only makes the code much more maintainable, because we now have uh, a single view looking after a single area on the page, but uh, as a side note, jQuery is also scoped to that element and knows only to look in that element to make changes, so it's, it's more efficient. 
Uh, one other difference, I mean, arguably you can use templates in pure jQuery, but you almost, almost always use templates with your views, JavaScript templating, is that rather than like making one change at a time, uh, we're throwing all the data from our model into a template and getting a complete updated version of that whole view concern um, by re-rendering the template and inserting that data in between. Um, <clears throat> so, so why did Backbone come about? Uh, it came about for the same reason frameworks like Ruby on Rails, uh, ASP.NET MVC with Microsoft.NET and um, <clears throat> Django and Python came about. And that's so people noticed if you just write ad hoc code, um, it's very hard to keep organized. So these MVC frameworks help you to organize your code under certain conventions, uh, which allows you A, to write less code, usually, and B, to write more maintainable, compartmentalized code. So this is kind of like the main big advantage and reason why these frameworks came about, encapsulation. And the second one, and I'll just finish up very quickly, is syncing. So with pure JavaScript apps, when the data comes back from the server, uh, it's put into the HTML, but then there's no, there's no track, there's no state, there's, that data isn't tracked. Uh, technically, you could you know, put it on some sort of JavaScript object uh, and hold it in memory, but Backbone goes even further by giving you a very simple and clear API um, to get data from the server and update the model uh, with, with single functions like fetch, uh, which just makes managing the front end and keeping it in sync with the data on the back end far more simpler than doing it on your own. And there you have it. That's pretty much an introduction to backbone.js. I hope you enjoyed this.